Action. Action. Oh, hi. Uh, hello there, uh, G.I. Joe fans. This is Chief321 here right now, and with another fun, feel, exciting G.I. Joe vintage toy review. Wow, I thanks for the heads up. Greatly appreciate it. Today we're going to be looking at the Cobra Rattler. Not this particular one. I actually took the one out of this one, and I customized it, and we will take a look at that at a later date and time. It will get its own review. Uh, right now we're going to be looking at one that is uh, a remake from 1984 uh, vintage. It is a Cobra Rattler. It's the exact same color. It's just a different year. And uh, and here we go. Clutch, uh, are we good to go? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are going to be reviewing the Cobra Rattler. This Cobra Rattler was available in the year 2000, and so was the copper version of it, uh, which I showed the box in the beginning of this video. As we review this, uh, we also have Wild Weasel. Now this Wild Weasel came from 1984 version, and as we take a look at him, he has a very nice Corporal Emblem. We're going to look more at him here in just a few minutes. Uh, I also have a different version of the Wild Weasel, which I really enjoy that so much better. And as you can see, the, definitely there's a wild, big collar difference. Exact same mold, just a different paint scheme. So we'll take a better look at them here in a few minutes. And as we take a look at this Cobra Rattler, this thing is massive. It is huge. I'll, we'll take a look at the gun and that is just big it's massive it's a kind of a flexible plastic uh, it does turn uh, left and right as like I said uh, this one here came from 2002 and you can look right here on the bottom uh, see if we can get the better lighting here now the 1984 version uh, stamp zoom in right here yeah, as uh, the 1984 stamp, if you take a look at Hooded Cobra Commander's uh, review of the Cobra Rattler, his actually goes from front all the way to the tail. Uh, well, I mean, it points that direction. The 2002 actually goes from uh, pointing from left to right, from wingtip to wingtip. Uh, this has actually really nice sculpted landing gear. Now, these things, especially in the back, right here uh, in the corner those usually break extremely easy and I believe after having 15 of these Cobra Rattlers and the copper version as well combined um, that this one here was done a lot better <clears throat> as we look we see some really good, awesome decals. Some of the decals are faded for it being new. As you can see right here, uh, it's actually coming down. Uh, and this one here as well. And before I continue, I need to give Benjamin a big thumbs up, dude. You gave me such a sweet deal on this Cobra Rattler. Uh, thank you very much for the deal. I truly enjoy this. As we continue to look at this, this thing's got a two-piece cockpit. It does open like so. Uh, without the missiles, for some reason, this thing just wants to tip in the back. I think the missiles kind of help give it the extra counterweight. And we'll take a look at the missiles here in a second. I'll try to zoom in here. The cockpit has some detail. It's missing a joystick. That's one thing I really did not like when I first bought this. Uh, as a kid, I bought my very first Cobra Rattler for $3.75. Uh, this has a turret, and this, is, like I said, is still new. It doesn't really turn extremely loose. It, it's tight, and that's what I like. Uh, now, this here I got off of uh, the Tiger Rattler, and it has a broken piece right here, as we can see, and it hooks on just like that it does open and close and uh, just to show there's actually like no seat in there for the passenger to sit in come on 
and get in there. Now these engine covers actually do pop off. Now you can take a look right here. Um, it has some stress marks and that means that it's either a little weaker plastic than the original. The original ones we took off all the time because we had our Cobra soldiers and officers and our mighty troopers, yay, uh, always working on them. And for some reason, these decals have uh, always some kind of funky design for Cobra vehicles. Uh, not too sure why. But this here has a removable access panel. Uh, let's see if I can get in there. Wow, it's so tight it doesn't even really want to pop off. All right, hold on. Uh, okay, so maybe that uh, engine cover might be glued. Uh, I just pulled this out of the box finally and just wanted to kind of show everybody the Cobra Rattler. Now this also has a very nice tilt wing for like a vertical takeoff and landing. And as we take a look, you can see that uh, there is a really nice uh, comic book cover of Wild Weasel and the Rattler in an area dogfight with uh, the Sky Striker. I'm assuming that's probably Ace and Lady J in the back of that. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look. These are the bombs for the Cobra Rattler. They're all made out of the exact same type of plastic. Uh, there's a universal dumbbell right here, a uh, hook up for the peg underneath the wings right here. And you can basically place them in any order how you would like them. Um, and then we also have a couple other bombs, missiles, and the battle damage um, panels for the Cobra Rattler, which is really, really nice. As we take a look, th this is a two-stage rubber missile tip here. Uh, I don't have the blueprints with me. I don't even have any really so uh, I'm gonna set this down and we'll put the bombs on uh, the Cobra Rattler and here the Cobra Rattler has all its uh, bombs missiles all loaded ready to go um, I really enjoy this one uh, now this one here co uh, the Cobra Rattler was packaged exclusively with Wild Weasel here and he, <clears throat> excuse me, I got such a dry mouth right now. The original retail price for the 1984 version was right around $10 when it was out in stores. Now, the first one was available in 1984. It was available uh, again, as we'll show here in just a second. This is what <clears throat> Wild Weasel looks like when he's actually in the cockpit of the Cobra Rattler as you can see uh, it it's kind of hard to really distinguish him because the Cobra Rattler for this year make a model including the 1984 uh, the colors were just so dark and they kind of clashed for me uh, and I enjoyed it as a kid for having it and it was my only Cobra Air Force I ever had for a long time for many years but uh, a lot of people and me also complained about the color contrast. So when I had the opportunity to get the other wild weasel, oh my goodness, I I was ecstatic about that because look at the color contrast now. He really stands out in that, and all I can say is, wow, it's awesome. It's I enjoy that collar so much more as we take a look at this. Now I'll have to do another video because uh, this video is getting way too long uh, to post on YouTube. So I'll have to do a review of this Wild Weasel and this one all by itself. Uh, so stay tuned for a part two. Thank you.